Hey there! Welcome back to my channel, it's Neda, and in this video, I am going to take you through a step-by-step -step cute hedgehog illustration process in Adobe Illustrator. I drew this little guy in Procreate. You may draw this using any software that you like, or even by hand. It's all about finding the method that works best for you. Let's import the sketch into Illustrator. The artboard size is 4.8 by 4 inches. I add another layer to refine the sketch. Then I lower its opacity and lock the sketch layer. I choose blob brush to draw a simple vector drawing. You can learn more about the blob brush and its settings in my previous tutorial. I'll include the video link in the description. Creating a vector sketch is really helpful and makes my life easier. I lower its opacity, lock its layer, and add a new layer for the illustration background. The vector drawing layer needs to be placed above the color layers. This way, you can see it during the coloring process. I use blob brush and draw an organic closed shape for the sky. You can learn more about the blob brush and its settings in my previous tutorial. I'll include the video link in the description. After that, I'll select the inner edge of the shape and press the delete key on the keyboard to color the shape. I refine and edit the shape and repeat the same process to color the grass. To add some shadows, I copy the shape and paste it in front. Then I choose a darker green and use eraser tool to erase the extra parts. I add another layer to color the hedgehog's body.
I choose a warm color to stand out in contrast to the cool background color. I draw an outline for the body, then I select the inner edge of the shape and press delete key on the keyboard. Now I right click, copy and paste the shape in front. Then I choose a lighter color. I shape the highlight on his body with eraser tool. Then I apply a gradient to make the body plumper. I choose a lips tool to color the eyes. Now, it's time to do the exciting part, which is adding the hedgehog quills. I add a new layer between the background and body layers. Now, I use the ellipse tool to draw a circle. I go to the effect menu and choose distort and transform. And then, I select roughen. You can adjust the size and number of the quills details based on your personal preference. I go to the effect menu again and I choose warp this time and then I select twist. You can make further adjustments to your chosen effects in the appearance panel. I keep a copy of the spikes in case I need it. I go to the object menu and choose expand appearance to convert the shape with the effect into a regular shape so that I can edit it easily.
I apply a gradient to add some darker brown to the quills. We're done with the quills layer for now, so let's lock it. I unlock the body layer, select the body and erase some parts to create the illusion of the quills coming out from the body. Now I create a layer for the line art and draw dark lines with blob brush. It's like adding a spice to your food. To add even more spice, I create another layer and name it Extra. Now I add colorful lines into my illustration. And here is our cute hedgehog illustration. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. I feel the love with every single like and subscribe. It's like virtual high fives coming my way. Thank you for your support and I'll see you in the next video.